at this point, the Windows 11 experience is the gift that keeps on giving. And in this case, when it comes to accessibility, there's some new feature updates that are indeed going to make the everyday easier for all and everyone. My name is Ben, one of your product evangelists, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new accessibility features built into Windows 11. For all who are new here, welcome. The aim of this video is to bring you up to date with the new accessibility features built into Windows 11 as of the 22H2 and 28th of February 2023 update. This is in fact a follow-up from our previous accessibility features video on Windows 11. So we will place that in the cards above and in the description below and highly recommend you watch that for reference. There's also going to be chapters in this video to give you quicker access to the sections that matter to you the most. We'll make sure to take our time so you can catch all the things needed in this video, but feel free to pause and play at any part of the video and you also have the option to change the playback speed from normal to 0 0.75, 0 0.5, 0 0.25x and also using the custom slider for the speed of your liking by clicking the gear icon and selecting playback speed. And with that, let's begin. As a friendly reminder, the core messaging around the Windows 11 experience is making the everyday easier with core focus areas on making your device easier to use, easier to be productive, easier to stay safe and easier to play. If we focus on easy to use in relation to accessibility, there are four areas Windows 11 helps make accessibility more powerful and effective for all users. Those areas are vision, hearing, interaction, and neurodiversity slash learning. As of the latest 22H2 and 28th of February 2023 update for Windows 11, we have new features and improvements in accessibility for vision, hearing, and interaction. For vision, we have our improved narrator. For hearing, we now have live captions and interaction and all for mobility, we have voice access, which is now out of preview. Let's start with vision and what's new and great about narrator. What is narrator? This is a screen reading app that's built into Windows 11, which means no extra applications, downloads or installs needed. Narrator simplifies navigation and helps describe images with a natural human sounding voice and works with your supported Braille device. The biggest takeaway is the addition of three new natural language voices, which are Aria, Guy, and Jenny. These additions add improvements to voice narrator, making it feel and sound more natural for those who need it. Think about listening to a robotic voice for long periods of time not as enjoyable or pleasing as you would think. And now, with more natural sounding voices available, using narrator will feel as close to how it is to have someone talking to you and helping you. To access narrator, press the Windows key and the letter U key together. This will then take you to the accessibility settings page. Under vision, look for narrator and click to select it. Once in narrator, you will see a toggle to turn on or off narrator. There is also a drop down arrow option, which will show you two boxes, giving you the option to start narrator before and or after signing in, if you choose to do so. The option to preview and download the additional new natural voices are under narrator's voice section. The second option shows add natural voices. To the right is the add button. Click here to show the three new natural voices you can preview the voices and download them. Once the voices are installed, head to the Choose a Voice section dropdown. The new natural voices have brackets with natural next to their name for easier indication. For an even quicker way to activate and deactivate narrator, press the Windows key, Control key, and Enter key all together at once. Narrator Home within the Narrator Settings menu is a great place to get help access your settings and learn about the new features and how best to use Narrator. Also, for a complete guide to use Narrator, click the complete guide option under the use Narrator section. Let's move over to hearing with live captions. System-wide audio live captions captures every word from any audio in Windows 11 with live captions. This is perfect for those 
who are hard at hearing on a permanent, temporary or situational level. Live captions automatically transcribe spoken content from any audio, even the microphone, so you can caption apps and even in-person conversations. To activate live captions, press the Windows key and the letter U key together, which like before, will take you to the accessibility settings page. Scroll down and under the hearing section, you will see captions. Click here to access live captions and from there, you can toggle live captions on, ready to capture and transcribe your audio. An even quicker way to toggle on and off live captions is with the Windows key, Control key, and letter L key all together. Live captions also gives you a great number of options to customize it visually to make it easier for you to see and read. Under caption style, the drop down menu to the right gives you eight options, including the default system caption style to choose from. And you can take this even further by pressing the edit button for even more options on the text, background, and window. Last new feature, and certainly not the least, is under interaction and mobility with voice access. Now, since the 2020 H2 update, voice access has been in preview, but now, as of the 28th of February 2023 update, it's now grown up and it's out of preview. What is voice access? Voice access allows you to command and control your PC with your voice built into Windows 11. This allows for a hands-free experience of using and navigating Windows 11 from opening and switching between apps, browsing the web, scrolling through emails, all without using your mouse and keyboard. To activate voice access on Windows 11, press the Windows key and the letter U key together, which once again takes you to the accessibility settings page. From there, scroll down to the interaction section and click on speech. Once in speech, at the top is voice access with the toggle to the right to turn on or off voice access and a drop down giving you the option to start voice access after you sign into your PC. Once you toggle voice access on, what's great is that you get a nice interactive guide on how voice access works and looks like when using it with the supported commands. Here, let me show you a quick demonstration of voice access working. Voice access wake up. Click animal friend. Click cat. Show numbers here. Click 22. Show grid here. Two. Five. Undo that. Show numbers here. Click seven. Show numbers here. Click 16. Show numbers here. Click 13. Show numbers here. Click three. Thank you for watching our latest video on the new accessibility features built into Windows 11. If you found this video useful and want to keep up to date with all the latest videos here on Expert Zone UK and I, then be sure to subscribe and like for more. Catch you next time. Bye.